case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1992 case, United States v. Ortiz, the United States Court of Appeals for the First Circuit focused on the proper evaluation of evidence and following sentencing guidelines. The case involved Felix Nunez Molina and Ruben Ortiz de Jesus, who were convicted of aiding a drug trafficking operation with Ernesto Llanos Dominic. Nunez's engagement in a prearranged drug deal with Llanos and the close relationship between Nunez and Ortiz supported their involvement in illegal activities. A Federal Drug Enforcement Administration agent, Roberto Izquierdo, orchestrated a half-kilo cocaine purchase from Llanos involving Nunez and Ortiz in the transaction. After inspecting the contents of the cocaine bag and negotiating sale rates, DEA agents arrested Llanos and Ortiz. The court found sufficient evidence, discussed the authentication of the contraband, and adhered to sentencing guidelines when convicting the defendants of aiding and abetting a drug trafficking operation. Upon review, the defendants' convictions and Ortiz's sentence were affirmed, while Nunez's sentence was vacated and remanded for resentencing within the guideline range. The court rejected the defendant's sufficiency claims, asserting that they could not use the district court's failure to make a Petrozziello determination as an excuse for not objecting in time. Overall, the court found no plain error in the case proceedings. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.